Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to learn about algorithms and flowchart. Okay, first of all, we need to know what is algorithm. So whenever we build anything, uh, now here in the question of building, like if we build a kind of building kind of thing, house or something, or uh, if we make any kind of car designs like automobile engineers they make car designs you might have noticed that whenever they build anything we make blueprint of it like the previous design the pre-design of the uh, structure like it's a car or it's a building or any kind of thing so here before making the softwares we make algorithms and flowchart of the software it is that it doesn't mean like we um, just made an idea of a software and we started making softwares no before making a software we have various types of steps okay the procedures and algorithm and making flowcharts of the software is one of them so let us see what is actually algorithm and flowchart meaning first of all algorithm to solve any problem we plan the required methods and apply them in step by step to get the desired output the step by step procedure to solve any problem is called algorithm so whenever you have an idea of building anything you are going to make the idea into the steps it means you are going to break the idea into the steps so all those steps you're going to make and like first step what you need to create the second step how to create like you're going to break the work into different several steps those all steps known as algorithm okay so if you want to build anything if you want to create something you need to make some steps the procedure that procedure the steps is known as algorithm so how to make steps of any activity like you have a kind of plan inside your brain like you have a plan to build something so how can you make the steps for that particular plan so first we'll take an example of going to school so we are going to make steps for this activity so first waking up early in the morning of course you're going to wake up early in the morning to go to school you give alarm you uh, have alarm clock at home and uh, due to the alarm we wake up early in the morning the second one is take bath yes we take bath after getting up in early in the morning then uh, dress up your uniform the third step okay and uh, then pack your school bag and then catch the bus that's it so these steps are actually made by you and uh, it doesn't mean this particular number of steps are only should be there you can increase or decrease the number of steps it's totally up to you how you are making the steps okay but you have to make the steps to make an algorithm now this is an algorithm that we have created to the activity uh, for the activity is going to school okay now in next step we are going to see rules for writing an algorithm now we have some certain rules when we start writing the algorithm we have to follow and the first rule is an algorithm should be written in english like language now we need a language to you know create the steps of course it's an english that we globally used so basically we use english language to write an algorithm the next is it should be written in a simple and precise manner so that everyone can understand it so the steps should be in precise manner you know like you have to plan out after which step we have to write a certain step that should be relatable to both the steps like your first step and the second step both should be relatable you know it doesn't mean like uh, first steps of is something else and second step is something else you know like uh, first step is chin and the second one is uh, japan somewhere else not like that so it should be in a precise manner so everyone can understand is easy to understand you know the next one is to ensure that an algorithm procedure produce the expected output it should be checking using sim sample values like whenever you are making any algorithm for any kind of software or anything any program suppose we are making program for any kind of specific task so you need to use some sample values sample inputs to check the algorithm the algorithm is giving us desired output or not now why i'm saying this because you know whenever you are going to make any software of course the first step will be the program you need to program for any software and for making the program we make algorithm so whenever you are making any program you need some values in that programs okay certain values numbers or any data any data you need so whenever you are making any algorithm for any certain program you need to give 
input you need to provide input to the uh, algorithm you need to give the sample inputs to the provide um, to the algorithm and then you need to check the algorithm is giving you the desired output or not accordingly you need to make some changes in the algorithm clear now the next is one can include variables and define mathematical expressions to calculate the result now if you are new to the programming world you actually can't understand what is variables what is the what is the variable meaning in programming so let us see first what is variable then i'm explaining this point to you the next one is variable a variable is a blank memory space which can store any value we can give any name to the variable it means what like variable is a blank memory space whenever we need a value in our program like it can be anything like numbers uh, string characters anything so whenever we need data whenever we need values in our program that time we need a memory space to store them so we give variables we take variables variables are the small memory spaces the blank memory spaces where we store data we can give name to the variable to identify the variable okay so any character name like a b c d any name any name you can give to the variable that we are going to see when we do programming okay like here it is written example a a is the variable name and 2 is the value so like the same we can input or we can initialize any value in a variable so it's mentioned where a is the variable name and 2 is the value okay there's example of variable so that's that's what i was talking about the last point that variable whenever we uh, implement values we take variables and we can have mathematical expressions with the use of variables in our algorithms so in further uh, video we are going to see this how to write an uh, algorithm with mathematical expressions so the next is flow chart of course a flow chart is a pictorial representation of the steps or an algorithm used to solve a particular problem the process of drawing a flow chart for an algorithm is known as flow charting now whenever you finish writing with algorithm you finish the steps you have to make flow chart for the algorithm now flow chart basically is a pictorial representation like you need to make some boxes to represent your algorithm okay like uh, for certain type of task we have a certain types of boxes so with the views of those boxes you need to uh, create a flow chart with on, on uh, you know uh, of your algorithm so let us see how to make a flow chart so basically again i'm saying a flow chart is a pictorial representation of the steps or an algorithm that whatever steps and algorithm you are going to write you need to make the representation of the, uh, uh, with pictures okay that's a flow chart a flow chart uses different boxes to represent different types of instructions just now we have discussed that we have some different boxes for different tasks okay so let us see this is the oval so start and stop so this is how we start the flow chart so any any flow chart you are making the first step the first box will be this start box or stop box we are going to end with the same box then if in your program we have input obviously in our program we'll have input and output both so for input and output purposes we use this box the next is process box the process box is actually a rectangle a rectangular box where any kind of process takes place like calculation or any kind of thing okay which is a process in our algorithm it is totally up to you what is required and what you want to write in your algorithm and flow chart is okay nothing is mandatory condition now if we have any kind of certain conditions in our program that we are going to see in the further videos where we are going to use certain programs uh, conditions pro conditional programs that we are going to see what is a condition but here whenever you need a condition in your program you need to use a condition box the next is a connector now these are the connectors different types of connectors on page off page connectors that we are going to use to connect the flow chart okay that we are going to see later now uh, the next are flow lines okay these flow lines are actually used to connect them okay they are flow lines to connect the flow charts like the boxes they will not uh, you know they will not hang on the air so you are going to uh, connect the flow chart boxes to each other with this help of flow lines okay so here we have got an uh, got a question write an algorithm and draw a flow chart to accept two numbers and display the sum so here we are going to see how to write an algorithm and draw a flow chart 
for uh, actually given task so the task is to we have to input two numbers we have to accept two numbers and then we have to add them so how to do it so algorithm is start we have to start the algorithm with a start uh, word then step one take input of first number we are going to, i already discussed that we have to take input of numbers obviously when we are doing any program for any specific task we need numbers we need data so here it's written the first step take input of first number then step number two take input of second number okay so as many numbers you need as many inputs you need to have then step number three add two numbers of course we need to add to those two numbers because the question is only asking us to add them then step four display the sum after adding you have to display the sum so here accordingly you'll thus your step will be display the sum so basically here what we have done we have just uh, made some steps of the given work and this is our algorithm and now the same thing what we are going to do is we are going to make some uh, flow chart we are going to uh, write this steps the algorithms inside the respective boxes okay so let us see see here the start box then we have input so input a and b so a and b what is that is a variable so we have two numbers and we have taken two variables for them so i have we have already discussed that variables is a small memory space where we can store value so basically here variables are used to store two numbers and input is a command that we use to take input of any number it's a command okay that we are going to learn in further videos the second one is a process box if you remember a rectangular box is a process box where any process takes place so c equal to a plus b it's a process it's uh, adding we are doing the sum it's a process so we have we have done this inside the process box okay the next is input output box so here we have written display sum sum is the string part that's why we have written inside inverted comma is exactly what is going to print then comma then c c is the variable name and variable name shouldn't be printed inside inverted comma remember that i repeat variable name shouldn't be printed inside inverted comma that's why it is printed without inverted comma okay and displays again the command to print data now as you can see the start box the input output box the process box and the output box okay so every task has a different kind of box and you need to care, take care of that then stop stop is the end of the flowchart okay so this is how we make flowchart and we write algorithm so again the uh, summary of this video first of all algorithm algorithm is uh, certain steps that we create for any work the steps are known as algorithm flowchart if we there is a pictorial representation of an algorithm we create boxes we make uh, the boxes and we write the algorithm inside them we have respective boxes with different types of tasks like here we can see start input process and output and uh, another boxes are like uh, conditional box and connectors and flow lines so in this chapter we have this much only in further videos we are going to see from more flowcharts some more different kind of questions we are going to do on flowcharts and algorithm so if you are new to my channel please subscribe for the new videos and please hit the like button if you like the video thank you so much for watching